Hi, I'm Mark and Teresa from Out of Office Camping, and I'm here today underneath our beautiful Coleman camper because I want to talk about our jack and bumper, which is what this video is all about. Now, if you follow the channel, you know we love the Coleman. We do a lot of things we shouldn't be doing, like off-grid camping, and because of that, we tend to uh, we were dragging the bumper. So we went ahead and did a axle flip. That was pretty easy, just really straightforward, a couple hours. And yes, we know a lot of you left comments. We're not supposed to do that. We're gonna have camera issues. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, you are correct. And don't worry, we are gonna get a proper kit from e-trailer and we are going to bring that to you when we go ahead and do the correct version of a axle flip now that parts are available. But what we found was, as soon as we did the, the lift, we ran into issues. We already had issues with the bumper dragon, but then we had jack issues. Our leveling jacks just couldn't, stabilizers just couldn't touch the ground. So we went ahead and got a, four of these jacks and custom cut them. And then we went ahead and put them on this new beefy bumper. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how we did that. We hope this might be of some help for some of you who tend to also do a little bit of traveling where you're dragging your bumper or you just want to upgrade it, maybe put something a little bit stronger on the back end. So let's go ahead and get started. There. We're getting a bumper upgrade. This is what we have. As you can see, it's not really straight anymore, so we're going to switch out go to a little bit heavier duty pipe, which also will allow the stabilizers to slide. Stabilizers will have just uh, jacks that are going to slide in and out of this, so they'll be like a 2-inch receiver. So, old and new. Jason's just looking at the setup of the pipe, how it's going to kind of go down, connect to the two. We have to work around the spare tire. And then also take into consideration for the um, bunk ends, the arms on the bunk ends have to sit against the bumper, which is right here on the existing hardware. So the bunk end bracket sits right there and rests on that, create that little triangle. Oh, check it out, man. Everybody needs an out of office camping sticker. Got everything spaced out. Jason's got everything marked out here as to where everything is setting. And what he's going to do is, since these, uh, since we're going to be a little bit lower with the bumper, the bumper's going to be lower. So normally, the these pins will be right up here. So what he's going to do is just do a round bar out, which is kind of how the front of the Coleman's are, and uh, that should work. So I'm going to get into doing some cutting. We're going to basically take this with the porta band and uh, cut this out. So then. You know, basically the pipe. This pipe's gonna sit right in there nice and flush. I like it's kind of wired. I use it for all kinds of things. Not the right tool. The right tool for my job. So the moral of the story is use what you have at hand that works for you and yep. gets the job you done. Lay around. That's the right thing.
Five on set. Five on set. Take one. Jason said it will work. Guaranteed. Yeah, get up there and walk around on it. I think that's the score. Yeah, a little closer. Jason put on the uh, decorative little features here and the end caps. Bars go right in. Another decorative feature over the jack. Lifter. Jason, what would you say? What's what's the bill going to be on this one? Yeah, so we're going to put this two and a half, three sixteenths tube in, which is basically uh, the same material that they use for making two inch receivers in the back of your truck. And we're going to make uh, pieces going here with hand crank jacks so that he can put these out for a little farther for a little bit more stability and take a little bit of the wobble out of it different than the, the factory jacks have. And the nice thing with those being removable we can turn them on the side for transport or we can just put them in another uh, vehicle when we're traveling. Yeah. And with the new upgraded bumper this will also allow us to uh, we eventually like to remove this rear ABS plastic, maybe do a diamond plate skin on the rear end. And then with the new and improved bumper, we can do the spare tire bracket on that, weld it to, to the new bumper. And then also say we wanted to do a uh, receiver hitch for say like bicycles or something that could also go on here. So lots of possibilities for build out. And this is your first pop, pop up? Yep, first pop up adventure. Pop it like it's hot. Jason, what are you talking about? You want to do what? I think we ought to get rid of that like, manual crank handle. Like, 32 Fords had them. They found that a starter was a better deal. You push a button, things go up and down. And I think it's the same deal. I think we need to lose the hand crank and we need to make that automated. <sighs> but you said we had to do the truck build next. We had to do the truck build next. Although that would probably be pretty easy. I may even have the pieces here. Oh geez, it's trouble now. We need to we need to cut off this filming while we're ahead. All right, guys, we need it. We're gonna shut it down. We gotta shut them down. So next up, it's time for stabilizing jacks. We have these rotating jacks that basically are gonna attach to the bumper. And what we need to do is take the jack and actually cut it off so we can have a removable um, foot where everything is going with the idea of the stabilizers and then we just got some sliding feet right here and these actually have the groove in them so what we were doing is we're taking the old ones and we're cutting off the, the foot so then this guy allows us to kind of go in and out now you can buy ones but we wanted we wanted to do the side instead of a top so Jason got the welder out. Get ready to get everything started here. Get them put on there. Jason just drilled everything and then used the step bit to widen everything out and make sure it all is nice. And now just make sure everything fits. Quick grind and get the uh, areas where it's going to get welded on so that the weld can take the paint off. And there we have it. One adjustable leg that spins. You get the side. Jack's all mounted. Just have to get the... Uh, removable plates and uh, we're working on maybe adding a another little bracket in between the bumper for a bicycle rack. Now what we've been working on here is basically grinding the feet so they can sit against the bumper nice and smooth. So it was basically rubbing the bumper before and just wanted to give a little bit more room there. So now it won't, even if it 
moves around, it won't touch it. The other thing, just to point out, we did was uh, this pin right here was actually on this side down here. And, you know, that would always been on the bottom when you were to go to do things. So basically just took out the cotter. There's a little cotter pin here, which keeps the uh, flat washer in the spring. So basically just pulled that out. And then um, on this old one, on this side, and then had to take this and re-drill it. So it was a larger hole. And then when I drilled it, not only the front, but I actually have to also drill this back plate. This plate has the large enough hole. So then, you know, everything would work out just fine in the two positions. So basically, you know, this is the size of the hole. Just took a drill bit and tried to match that size and then just made that larger. So pretty straightforward. And uh, that concludes this portion of the jack. All right. In closing, we'd like to thank all our Coleman pop-up camper folks and just pop-up camper folks and anybody else that enjoys fabrication. This is a very simple project that any local shop could take on or if you have the skill set just as well. One last thing in closing. The little twisties, really like these just for about anything, but these are really nice. You're heading down the road. You want to avoid the possibility of basically just dragging your handle. You can just put that on. So thank you again. Upcoming videos, we're eventually going to do the same setup on the front. The nice thing too with this bar, the reason we went with the two inches, it just allow us a lot of flexibility for us to create things that could slide into the piping and maybe create like an outdoor grill, even though we already have an outdoor grill, things of that sort. So that's why we chose to go with this pipe. We've been very pleased. We have not dragged our bumper and no forest rangers have brought us any parts lately from the Coleman. Although our floor is starting to rot out. And, well, we got to take care of that at some point. So stay tuned for more things to come with the Coleman and thanks for watching. Also, if you like this content, check out our playlist. I'll be sure to include that right here. Plus some of the off-grid camping. We love off-grid camping. So check out this video also. All right. Have a good one. Stay safe and pop it like it's hot. Is that right? I can't remember what the sticker said. Yep, pop it like it's hot.